Hi, I'm Dr. Presley. Um, I am the uh, family physician at the uh, Pleasant Hope uh, CMH Clinic in Pleasant Hope, Missouri, and I've been there for 11 years. Uh, myself and a nurse practitioner, Tisha Joplin, that works with me are in that clinic, and uh, we really enjoy helping the people not only in the Pleasant Hope community, but all throughout the uh, CMH area. The first one being that wellness exams are always important, and I think this is a little hard sometimes to communicate to our patients because their insurance company will often contact them and send a nurse to their home to do a wellness exam. And I'll be the first to say that's not the same as a wellness exam with your primary care provider. Uh, your primary care provider knows you well and has all the data that they need to help focus on preventative care for you, which is extremely important. Um, I have concerns that because of the pandemic that many people delayed necessary cancer screenings such as colonoscopies, and I really encourage them to get back in touch with their family doctors to get back on uh, chart with that to make sure that they get those done because uh, we want to make sure that they're screened properly for cancers and other wellness items. I, I think it's important to consider that nobody's situation is identical and I think that there are definitely ways to get safely back in, in out in the community and with your family and have that important connection whether it be going back to church or um, visiting family members or just going and seeing friends. I mean it's different for everybody but it's extremely important to our overall health you could still have COVID-19 and not to ignore um, those symptoms. I, the the COVID-19 virus causes for some people very mild illness and for other people very severe illness. So what we like to do is treat people based on how their risk is, not so much on how sick they are. And CMH has done an excellent job with a infusion of, of antibodies that you can receive at the infusion center and can be set up through your family doctor um, to have done. And this has been a game changer. In my opinion, this has been the best thing we've had as far as therapeutics for COVID-19. I think in the first few days of illness, two or three days, if they're not getting better, they should go and see their doctor. The point is to get tested, but then to also get treated. No one is immune to the mental health impacts that this has had on us. That, that includes our children especially. Again, I would like to encourage people to not suffer alone, but to reach out to your family family care provider, your, your family physician, your nurse practitioner, that person that you know and trust, make an appointment with them. Even if you wanna do it over a, a, a telemedicine visit through uh, just talking to them on the screen. We all have connections to mental health resources, sometimes even within our own clinic. And uh, we can help you with things other than just medications. Medications are a piece of it, but we can also help you with other things. Some of the things that come to my mind are making sure that you're not isolating yourself from others, making sure that you're getting regular exercise. And I always tell people, do something that you enjoy. Don't try to punish yourself with exercise. We get that wrong mentality sometimes. Also, make some subtle changes in your diet. Don't try to beat yourself up. Try something that's achievable. Um, make small changes. If you're drinking sodas, sugar sodas, take those out of your mix, you know, and try to uh, start small with that. Make sure that you are making time for the people you love. And so instead of trying to spend all your time on Facebook or something like that, actually call up somebody that you haven't talked to in a while, talk to them. Talk to them about what they're going through. Talk to them about what you're going through. Um, and then even meet with people and, and, and just process some of this. I know that um, there's a lot of healing that comes to talking to loved ones about things that we're going through and realizing that we're not alone in it. At my clinic, I try to look at um, helping people with weight loss um, in the context of other illnesses that they have. If they have um, diabetes, if they have other, other things that we can help them with, and then also sometimes just being a, a uh, um, teammate with them to help them with their journey on weight loss. Um, and so I do see patients that have their own primary care provider that I see them only for weight loss and I communicate closely with their primary care provider about that as we're working on things and I, I enjoy that part of my practice. Um, I enjoy helping people with that. Um, I also um, know that Dr. Heather Korn 
um, who is our endocrinologist. She also d deals with a lot of helping people with weight management also. It's a neat little community. Um, I've enjoyed working there for the past 11 years and really getting to know some of the people in the community um, as well as also being connected to the resources of um, the excellent specialty care we have at CMH. Uh, the people are great there. Um, they're really friendly. Um, they're down to earth. You go down to the local gas station uh, to grab a bite to eat for lunch and everybody's sitting around talking to each other and it's, it's a very close-knit community. You know, as much as I've enjoyed taking care of patients there, they've really kind of embraced having me and Tisha there um, as their uh, caregivers that they reach out to when they need something.